hello and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we are going to learn how to make this structure sleeve it's a trendy sleeve inspired by vicky james and we are going to try out this sleeve i'll show you guys how i cut and how i made it first of all i'll use my doll face fabric for this you can use any fabric of your choice then you will need the thickest gum or color gum you will need a crinoline and you will need a regiline bone this is the hard crinoline and i also used a regiline bone some people call this sewable bone a regiline bone or a sewable bone so these are the main materials that we are going to need for this tutorial so first of all i will fold my fabric you can do a pattern drafting for this sleeve but i want to do a free hand for it the free hand is easy you fold your fabric first of all then you cut off the rough area then after that you would measure the length of your sleeve i'll advise you to use from 15 to 17 inches i want mine to be 16 i want the full length to be 16 but first of all i'll measure the wideness my own wideness is 14 now you can see i folded this and i marked 14 on fold then my full length is 16 but i made it 17 inches the 17 is for the allowance and co so the wideness is 14 the full length is 16 plus one inch seam allowance that is 17 then you will mark your armhole curve or your sleeve curve you can see what i'm marking just mark your normal sleeve curve after marking 14 inches on fold then mark your normal sleeve curve then mark a straight line down to your sleeve length you can see i've marked my armhole curve and i marked my full length then from the top of this sleeve you will come down by nine inches from the top i came down by nine inches and from that nine inches i curved down to the side of the sleeve you can see what i'm marking right here from the center top of this sleeve i came down by nine inches and i curved it down to the side of this sleeve then i'll go ahead and cut out you can see the new shape of our sleeve then after cutting this out i want to use this doll face as the lining as well so i placed the main fabric on the lining and i will cut out the lining after cutting out this lining i will choose one of these doll face fabric i want to use one as my lining and i will add this hard gum to only one side i don't want to add the hard gum to the both both the fabric and the lining if you have been following me you know that i don't like adding hard gum to my doll face if i'm to add that then that should be on my lining so this one that i'm adding this gum on is the this one that i'm adding this gun to is the lining so add it to just your lining if you're using a color gum add your color gum to just your lining and it is very okay after that i will cut out the remaining part of the gum so this is the new lining right now so this lining is where i will add my crinoline and my bone i'll go ahead and iron very very well then after that i will add my crinoline to it so i will go ahead and run my crinoline at the edge of this sleeve at the hemline of this sleeve that curved area so you can see that i've added my crinoline i ran a half an inch seam around it then after that i will add my bone on it this bone you will give let's say half an inch space before adding it or one inch space after adding your crinoline at the hemline of the sleeve the bone will be above the hemline you will leave like half an inch from the hemline before you attach your bone so i have added the crinoline and the bone as well i have crinoline and i have bone you can see that my bone is above half an inch almost one inch above the hemline so that when i'm joining it with the lining it will not interfere so after that i'll place my main fabric on this lining i've added my structure to the lining so the lining will carry everything i'll go ahead and place my main fabric on the lining then i'll go ahead and join the both of them at the hemline then after joining i top stitched i am done top stitching right now you can see i closed 
the down part only for now after top stitching you go ahead and iron so after ironing this you can now close the side but if you are closing the side you will not close it the normal way like you will not just join straight it will not give you a neat finishing the finishing will not be neat so what i'll do is that i'll open it up you can see how i open them up you can see i've opened the lining and the main fabric then i will join this way you will join the main fabric separately and you will join the lining separately you can see how i'm joining them i'll just use half an inch and shape i am done shaping and i will turn out so when you turn it out it will hide the seam allowance like the rough seam will hide you can see you can no longer notice where the seam allowance is at so that if you raise your hand it will look very neat so after that you can now go ahead and trim off your excess lining or excess whatever you have then after that you go ahead and gather it around your shoulder area so that you can achieve that puffy effect so after that this is what i have i hope it is beautiful i this one does not have bone it does not have free no line i made two sleeves one has a bone one does not have so this one i'm holding right now does not have a bone and you can see that it is not too thick the other one has a bone and a crinoline and it is very very strong and you can see the shape the sh their shapes are different so at the end of the day i placed this on my body and it is nice so thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video also join our telegram group you can register for our online classes as well do not forget to follow me on instagram at so with ijoma at so with ijoma thank you guys and see you all in my next video bye